how to make your videos not boring. Start by always getting to the point. We don't want this long intro. We don't want distractions when your cat walks in. What are we talking about in the video? Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna be helping you, all of you aspiring social media influencers. Maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel, maybe you wanna start your Instagram, whatever it may be, I've got some tips that may help you. Am I an expert? No, but I have been doing this for over eight years now, so I have learned a thing or two along the way. So let's get started. First thing, get to the point. Anytime I'm editing, I always say, nobody cares. And I literally tell myself, that nobody cares and I edit that part out the video so it could be as concise and to the point as possible. So if you can watch your video when you play it back and you're like, hmm, can my video survive without that story? Can my video survive without that part? If the answer is yes, cut it out. Tip number two, please do not start any of your Instagram videos or your stories with any of these intros. What's up everyone? We're tired of it. Happy Tuesday everyone. No one's happy on a Tuesday. Just wanted to hop on here real quick. It's just filler words, we don't need it. Let's do a little experiment. You go ahead and tell me which version you like better. The first one's gonna be pretty boring. The second one's gonna be what I normally do. Do not leave this video because it gets boring. This is just an example, okay? Boring example number one. Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you this new product that I got sent to me. I wanted to tell you that this product is amazing. I know you all just rolled your eyes because you've seen it a million times per day on your Instagram. Or you can start your videos like this. Do you see this perfect curl? It's defined, it's moisturized, and this is actually my day five hair. Yes, I haven't washed my hair in five days. That's because I use this gel and it lasts all week long. It's amazing, it's by Curl Smith. Swipe up if you want to get it. Boom! That's how we do it. I got straight to the point. I showed you my results. Then I showed you what I use and I included a link. Swipe up, 15 seconds. So just try to avoid any of those basic influencer 101 intros. I will admit I am guilty of also using them. And there's many times where I say it and I go, oh, do it again. And I try to catch myself if I use one of the basic influencer 101 intros. It happens. But I do try to just be at least mindful of it because the social media attention span is about three seconds long. And if you start off with a boring intro, you will get skipped. In this video, I'm also gonna show you how you can edit your videos down to a reasonable length so you don't bore your audience. Using an app called Kinemaster. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Kinemaster, which is an awesome app where you could edit everything right on your phone. You don't need a laptop, you don't need an iPad, you could do it on your phone. So I'm gonna show you this fun transition for changing your clothes on your bed. It's gonna take a lot of face plants. So when you are making a video, there's usually a sacrifice. And this time, it's my own face. So the first thing you wanna do is plan out your outfits that you're gonna be transitioning to. I'm gonna choose these comfy, quarantine, cozy outfits. Cause let's be real, that's all we've really been wearing. So I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes on how to film it and then how to edit it on Kinemaster. Let's do this. All right, let's edit this reel. So I'm going to go to Kinemaster and it has a horizontal view. And I'm gonna create, create new project. Biggest day, easy, accessible. Now one thing that I do love is that when you pick your new project, it already has all these presets with the correct aspect ratio. So they have one for YouTube, IGTV, Instagram video, whatever it is, just click whatever size you want. So because this is a reel or TikTok, you want it to be nine by 16. So just tap that, click next. And we're in. Now I'm going to import my media. So I click media. I really like how all the buttons are right by my thumb, making it really easy to navigate. So I'm gonna click all and go to my most recent video right there and import. All right, so as you can see here, all of your tools are right here by your thumb, making it really easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get rid of the audio because we don't need it. So I'm gonna click mixer and then just click this little sound button and now my audio is gone. So we can add a nice little song later. Then I'm gonna push play and I'm gonna look for where I actually do my first drop. So here I get started in the back position. I get a little nervous and I'm gonna go right to, right before I fall, right there. Then when you tap the timeline, I'm gonna click trim and split. So this one means I'm gonna trim everything to the left, trim everything to the right, or split right there, just like a little cut. So I'm gonna get rid of everything to the left, so let's go ahead and trim left of playhead. Boop, now that's the beginning of my video. Play it, do, 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 and fall. So we don't wanna see all that. So now I'm going to tap it, 
split it. So let's cut it there. Now I'm gonna skip me changing outfits, getting in my new position. There, tap, split, split. All right, so I'm gonna delete this part right here, hit the little trash can, boop, and let's see how that looks. Cool. Tap, split, everything to the left, chop it right before I fall. Tap, 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 bam. Duplicate. Reverse the first one. And now let's see. And now we're gonna look for the next outfit. And here's the red. Okay, so now that we're in the swing of things, it gets a little tricky. So if we just play our clip, you don't want it to skip from the front of the bed, then jump back to the back of the bed. So we're gonna keep this clean. Start, stop right before you fall, right about there. You just move the timeline with your thumb to find that exact spot you wanna cut. And I'm gonna trim it right there. Then I'm gonna tap the clip that we want and I'm gonna reverse it so I fall back up. Reverse. So the first clip is gonna be the only clip where you're actually keeping it as is, falling forward then you have to reverse the second clip and then put the original fall, where you fall backwards, and then the next one you reverse. So it's gonna be reverse, same, reverse, same, reverse, same. So now we have successfully edited our video for TikTok or Instagram Reels. Now we're going to export the video by clicking this little arrow at the top. And we wanna keep it 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, you can keep it like, you know, middle quality, high quality if you want, depending on your memory size of your phone. I got a lot, so I'm gonna keep it right there. It doesn't really matter. Instagram kind of ruins everything. Anyways, exporting, and voila. We now have our video. So I'm gonna go to my camera roll. And here's the final product. Perfect, I love it. So now it's good to go on TikTok and see what songs are trending. Now you could add your music within KineMaster by clicking audio, then choosing your song, but I do recommend you using the music that comes with Instagram or TikTok, that way you don't get flagged. And if you choose a trending song, people have a better chance at finding your video. When you're first learning how to edit, all you really need to know is how to import your media, tap on it, you're gonna either cut it, you can zoom in, you can add a filter, you can change the speed, reverse, rotate, voice change. It has a lot of cool things. So if you're looking for a way to edit your videos, definitely download KineMaster to make your life a lot easier. And there you have it, you just made your really cool transitional TikTok. So now you know your intro to your video. You know that you don't need a bunch of equipment or anything like that. You know that you need to just start by posting whatever you got. And now you also know how to edit your videos. The last thing that you need to have a successful YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok is authenticity. Are you talking about something that you actually care about? Don't just post what you think is going to go viral or what everyone else is posting if you don't have a genuine passion for that topic. So if you're talking about something that you don't like to talk about, you're going to give up really easily. You're not gonna be motivated. You're gonna have three videos and then we're never gonna hear from you again. So my little phrase I like to keep in mind is that no matter what you love to do, there is somebody in the world that's getting paid to do the thing that you love and do the thing that you would probably do for free. If you love skateboarding and drinking cranberry juice, guess what? Someone's getting paid a lot of money to drink his cranberry juice on his skateboard. Well, who am I keep you down? And if you do genuinely love a topic that's already kind of popping, like beauty, makeup, whatever, think about how are you gonna make yourself stand out? What's gonna make a brand want to pay you versus the other thousands of people that want to do it? For example, when I first started YouTube eight years ago, there weren't really any natural curly hair channels. I was one of the first. Was I the first? No, but there wasn't a lot. If you typed in curly hair tutorials, you would get girls showing you how to use a curling wand on your straight hair. That is not what I wanted. So I saw that there was a need. I also didn't just wanna watch videos of girls with perfect skin putting on makeup and it just lasting all day. 
I was like, hey, where's the oily skin girls? Where's the girls that have acne? That's who I am. That's what I also want to see. So really just try to think about how you can make your channel or your Instagram different from everyone else's because it's unique to what you want. Because I bet you that if there's something that you wish you could watch, there's someone else that also wishes that same thing. So those are some of my Instagram, YouTube influencer tips for you guys today. I didn't even charge you for this free social media seminar. You're welcome. But I would love to see you guys implement these tools on your own social media platforms. Let me know what your favorite tip was down below if this video helped you. And also don't forget to download KineMaster to help you edit those videos. If you have more social media questions, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I'll make a part two of this video. Maybe I'll make some Instagram reels, whatever. You know I gotta make content anyway, so you might as well tell me what you wanna watch. Another great source to figure out content ideas. Just ask your audience, they will tell you. If you enjoy my channel, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.